Hello everybody, welcome to the corner. t Pulls Corner, that is. That's my username anyway. I'm Travis, and today we're doing a Hallowed Haunting deck. Which can be tough because I only have two copies of it. And normally we would do Mono White. But, and I might still do a Mono White at some point. But, I want to play around with some of the Black Enchantments. So this deck is called the Dark Haunting. Or is it Haunting of the Dark? One or the other. We've got 61 cards in the deck because I have four copies of Spirited Companion, so it replaces itself, so I don't really feel bad about that idea. And this is probably not the best idea against both black and red because they might have removal, but... Yeah, it worked. Three points of damage. Three colors, like new Fenner rules. And he's got double strike. Interesting. Is he going to jump block? Alright, that kind of tells me that he's probably got a way to bring stuff back from the graveyard. We're starting to flood out with land, actually, but I can't complain too much. It gets our winning piece out. No attacks. And if they don't have a board wipe, we can really go wide really fast here. What are you going to do with that? Are they going to take out Machiko? Yes, they are. It's nice to know you. And another land. Shoot. Alright, um, let's target a planes for ossification. We'll get a spirit out of the deal. We'll get Thrawn Spider out of the way. And we're just waiting to use another ossification for the next threat. That's a hasty creature. Full cast. Different planes. Same spell. 6-4 goes away. Should have attacked with it. That's your fault. Not mine. Attack with everything we got. And hope they don't have a board wipe. Because if so, we in trouble. Cityscape Leveler, they're going to get rid of Hollowed Haunting if they know what's best for them. They they could get away with one of the ossifications and bring back some creatures. Target non land permanent, they're look. Oh, hello! You're looking at the spirit clerics? Seriously? Uh, well... <laughs> that... There's not much of a problem when all I do is flood out with land. So, what do I do? Play this? I guess I play this. Because now they're flying. And we win. As long as you control seven or more enchantments, creatures you control have flying and vigilance. By the skin of our teeth. Man, that was a lot of land. Alright, let's go in and show you the deck. Remember to like and subscribe, everybody. 
Haunting of the Dark. And since I only have two copies of this Mythic Rare from Innistrad, we also pair it with um, Cigar to Splendor. Keeps track of your life total. If you have equal or greater life total, you get to draw a card. And whenever you cast a white spell, you gain life. So that that's kind of helps the card helps itself. If you can maintain that higher life, you'll keep that card draw advantage. In the meantime, Hallowed Haunting. Uh, every time you cast an enchantment spell, you get a white spirit cleric creature token. And that creature's power and toughness are equal to the number of spirits you control in total. So if we have a 1-1 one, one spirit creature and then we cast an enchantment... That spirit creature becomes a 2-2, two, two, and we get a second creature that also is a 2-2, two, two, and so on and so forth. When we get to the point where seven or more enchantments are on the field, all of them have, uh, well, every creature. It doesn't matter if it's an enchantment or a spirit or what. If it's a creature, it gets flying and vigilance. Now, the issue that I have is we have a, a card called Spirited Companion, but it's not a spirit. It's a dog. But that's why I have 61 cards. Since I have four dogs, they all replace themselves by drawing a card. It's not too bad to go ahead and have one extra land. We do have 24 lands. It's a cheap deck, 2.5 mana cost only, because we've got a number of one drops here. Meticulous Excavation. We can return stuff to our hand and then uh, play it again later. Our one Flash Spell, which uh, gives lethal damage, right? So it's good to... This is our one battle tactic that might work, uh, be unexpected for them. Um, I've got three of Machiko's Reign of Truth to pump up my creatures, and when I do, I'll play Clawing Torment if they only have one artifact or creature blocking us, so that way uh, the bonus damage can get through. So that's what Clawing Torment is doing there. Gift of Fangs just to get rid of uh, something for, you know, 2-2 two -two Chump Blocker at the very beginning. Uh, Okipa Reckoner Raid. Opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Over the first two chapters, that's a four-point life total difference, and then we get a creature. Uh, we have three ossifications for removal. We got one sanctify for artifacts or enchantments. We got the companions themselves that are enchantments, so they count along with Hallowed Haunting. We got Life of Tashura Umazawa to either give our creatures some damage or to get rid of one one creatures opposing us. Four borrowed times, so that gets rid of target non land permanents. So that with ossification gives us seven removal. And then we have two board wipes with by invitation only, which is nine removal, which is still kind of cheap, but we have one faithbound judge that can come back as a sinner's judgment enchantment. Uh, this one is a spirit soldier, so that he does get the benefit of, of increased uh, things coming in from Hallowed Haunting. Counts towards that total. And we have the long reach of night, first two chapters. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or they discard a card. And then we get the 0 4 menace animus of night's reach there, you see to the right. Uh, the final two, Painful Quandary, whenever an opponent casts a spell, that player loses five life, unless they discard a card. And then Spirit Sister's Call, we can choose a permanent card in our graveyard, which is probably going to be an enchantment, and we can return it. Um, so we, we would sacrifice anything on the board that matches the card type if we think there's something in the graveyard that would serve us better. That's the deck, just one Fill the Rune and one Draws Pits for card draw. And that's the idea of the deck. I'll probably go do a mono white with haunting, hallowed haunting, after this. But I just really wanted to play around with the black spells. I thought there would be some good synergy there. Cigar to Splendor can still work for us, even though half the spells are black. And I am kind of hoping to get either the Splendor or hallowed haunting in the opening hand. Meticulous Excavation, I like to have Hallowed Haunting before I put it out because it's so cheap. It makes it so easy to play multiple cards at once and build up your spirit to, um, creature count. And they put us into a black-white mirror match already with Spirited Companion. How about that? Um, sure, why not? Let's do it. I'll show you yours since you showed me mine. Or no, I'll show you mine since you showed me yours. Not trading. I like my dogs. I keep my dogs. You have another one anyway. Um, that's all I'm doing. 
We're in for something that's a 2-2. Two -two. Won't care about the 1-1s. One -one. They don't miss a land drop, do they? Are you going to kill my dog? I feel like they're going to kill my dog. Oh, they have three in a row? That is kind of not fair. Is that really fair? They get all their card draw up front. That's fine. Whatever. I got two cigar to splinters. Every job is an opportunity to learn more about this. I know there's a hero inside you. Vigilance. No blocks. Okay, Gift of Fangs takes out the Vigilance. Um, go ahead and put down that. Go ahead and put down Meticulous Excavation. Go ahead and put down Machiko's Ring of Truth. Go attack the Planeswalker. I won't let you harm innocent bystanders. It was almost enough. Made him stop and think, anyway. The problem is we're almost out of ammo already. I'm just gonna go get the dog back, and I haven't been able to get rid of the Planeswalker. And they have a way to get rid of Machiko's enchantment at the same time. That was a Be very brave. valuable play for them. Planeswalker's blocked off and protected now. Let's go ahead and do this on them. They should just discard a card. Okay, we'll bring down, make that white. They threw away their little dog. I know there's a hero inside you. And we're hurting bad and all we did was get a land. Since they know they have a Ganja, they're probably just going to bring back their dog in a second. Soul transfer. Like they need that. We're going to go down to one life point. They throw away Touch of the Spirit Realm. Bring back the dog, get a card draw. Play the land. Pump up one of the creatures. Be brave. Be 
Down to one. I was hoping that was actually a land so I could save the long, long reach of night. But. We'll just have them get rid of all their regular stuff. Why the big pause? I didn't... I let you do all of your moves. Ah, I still managed to save something. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, we're bringing down a chump blocker. they got. And just like that, three creatures down already. They can I know make that fly, can't they? Inside you. Yep, they got me anyway. All that work, I had the second board wipe ready. Too slow. But we did get a card out of it. Nice, mythic rare. All right, I attacked with 30 creatures for the day at least. Yeah, that can be frustrating sometimes. You just need one more turn to stabilize. Like we did so well, but they had exactly what they needed to defeat the board wipe. We're still gonna have to deal with the planeswalker. Okay, Hallowed Haunting in the hand with four land. Sweet. No, that's Sanctify, that's not a land. Three land. Three of the four. Oh no. That's not an enchantment creature either. So... I guess we're just gonna do this and gain a couple life. They need three mana to get that taken care of. We'll gain two life again. And there's just nothing else we can do about it, so... They're probably going to take Hallowed Haunting away from us. And of course Arena does that to me. Give me the one card I need out of the two cards in my deck. Maybe they'll think Cigar of Splendor is the bigger threat? They went after long reach of night. Why? That's a little weird. All right. Oh, hang on. I want the land. Why do I keep thinking sanctify is a land? All right, we get that one out at least. Maybe they've got a way to destroy enchantments already, so they just weren't threatened by that one. These two together aren't enough to take out the Revealing Eye as it is. I need a removal card. Otherwise, Cigar of Splendor is never going to be able to get me my card draw. Okay, one battle tactic. Go ahead and set up. These little 1-1 one, one is nothing for you to worry about.
Well, you were afraid of this one before. At least make him discard a card. Okay, Diabolic Intent. And we'll try and double block the Revealing Eye, and that way Cigar to Splendor will give us card draw. Although they might have removal. Yeah, they do. And that was enough. This isn't my pest control deck, is it? No, it's not. Okay. They haven't. They're gonna get rid of that anyway, just to go look for something. some card draw. That's all we need to do right now. They are not missing their card draw. Oh, is that what you went to go get? And <laughs> now we just get land. That's all we're gonna get, huh? All right, well, that's what this is for. You can't block. They have protection for it. Nice. All right. Mm, I feel like that's all we can do. They have zero creatures in the graveyard. So we block with the 0-4 so it doesn't hurt us to have his uh, little sacrifice permanence thing come at us. One point of trample still prevents us from getting the extra card draw. And why are we doing nothing but getting land? That's a little unfair. And both of these are tapped, so I can't play the Spirit Sisters call. Of course not. I can gain one life. And they've got just what they need. Isn't that convenient? You're going to hit me anyway. Thank you. Target my dog. Use borrowed time. Get rid of the obliterator. And we got it. Sometimes the obliterators can make you like difficult. Let's go do one more. For those who haven't been around long enough to know what the channel is all about, it's a free-to-play channel. So the reason why I only have two copies of Hall of Haunting and I don't go spend all my wild cards is because I have an extra artificial constraint on this account. Um, so if somebody wants to sponsor a uh, Patreon, they can go ahead and ask me to play a deck for them. And if they say they want me to go into Historic and they have like 20 Mythic Rares I don't have, I have enough wild cards stockpiled that I can go create that deck. So I keep my wild cards for any patron requests. The student's going to be Frexing Poison. Phyrexian Poison usually kills me pretty quick. Uh, the other reason that I don't go burn all my wild cards, um, partially it's because I'm a hoarder, uh, but aside from that, um, I've played a lot of games in my life. I am nearly 50 years old, and I need an extra challenge. 
I've played Magic before. I played Paper Magic. When I checked out Arena and got into it, it was kind of fun. But everybody's already doing all this other stuff. And that's an artifact creature, so we can just destroy you. And I get another card draw out of it. And do we want to play that now? Yeah, we can play it now. Since the Sinew Dancer doesn't have poison, I don't mind letting it through. The poison stuff is not shown up yet. He may want to he may be willing to trade the dancer for the companion. I am not. Land, 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 land. Um, okay. We'll wait. We'll wait for stuff. So yeah, it gives me a bit of a challenge. If I only have... If I have a core concept and it turns out, oh, it's Mythic Rare cards and I only have two of them, I find substitutes, I find ways to get those to maybe tutor those out earlier. Uh, whatever it takes. I'm not willing to give up. I really don't want to use stuff on a 1-3. What if I just say, okay, let's attack with the dog. Let's trade. Are you willing to trade? Target creature gets plus 2, plus 2. My military discipline will not stop that. Give him a dog. Yeah, all right. Well, we teased out the battle tactic early. I do have three more dogs somewhere in there. Do you have another battle tactic? Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Battle tactics, battle tactics. Okay, yet another tapped land. Let's go draw something else. That's a lot of removal, but none of <laughs> none of the cards that I want. I want Cigar to Splendor or Hallowed Haunting. That's still four cards. Either one will do, and then I can go to town. But that does that brings the toxic in, so we finally got some targets for our stuff. Yeah, a doggy. Say hello to my little dog. Oh, that's good. Here, go away. They should be confident enough to just attack, right? With both? They keep the Sinew Dancer back. Huh. Do you have another battle tactic? Well, I don't want to risk another battle tactic, so... We bring the dog back up with Meticulous Excavation. We bring the dog back down for another card draw. We'd be done. Another flyer. <laughs> They're using hold for ransom on my dog. <laughs> oh, that is rich. Oh, that's good. Okay. I'm getting my land draws. Bring the dog back up. Put the dog back down. Get another card draw. It's just another land. Look at all this removal and all I got is 1-1s one and 1-3s. One is that really what I'm going to have to use it on? Those are my choices. And he keeps back the Sinew Dancer.
You gonna tap it? I can remove it. Who cares if you tap it? What a waste of mana. Bring it back down again. Hey! It's another dog! Hey! I get some life back. End the turn. Now what you gonna do? Rafine's in. Pfft. I got targets for my removal, finally. What a slow, boring deck. Where is your poison? How can this be a Phyrexian deck? Three or more po- Are you just- Are you not playing poison? Are you literally just- You're playing a creature that you have to spend four mana to tap a creature? You, you've got- You've got two. You've got to have more. This is- this is like the worst poison deck I've ever faced in my life. I feel kind of sad for them. Hang on. Attack first. <laughs> They're taking the damage. <laughs> All right. Uh, target the planes. Get rid of Rafine's informant. Um, target the swamp. Get rid of the one that keeps tapping my stuff down. And now, I guess we end the turn. Because the Guard of Splendor card draw is going to kick in if they can't do more than that for damage to me. Finally, another poisonous thing. Painful quandary comes down. Raccoon's raid comes down. My issue is they can play um, the Twilight card and do a board wipe and come up with like six one ones with Toxic on me. I don't think they realized what Painful Quandary was. They're taking the five point damage? They're taking another five point damage? <laughs> they just wanted to end the pain. Oh man. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, with Sigarda out and you know that you can't stop them from gaining the life, you know you can't stop the card draw advantage. And if you've been playing long enough, you know that there's just not much built into the way that you can get back from your opponent drawing two cards every turn while you only get stuck drawing one. Unless you do have those game changers like a Twilight Board Wipe. And if it's not coming up, it's just not coming up. My opponent is Moo Moo. And they're doing nothing. So let's test the waters. Blue and white. I don't really want to throw Cigar Splendor right into that. I 
don't know yet if they have counterspell magic or not. Oil counters, okay. Dealing with that kind of deck. Mind Splice Apparatus. Okay. That's a problem for me. They have Farewell. Farewell is our Kryptonite. And they've almost got enough to cast it already. And they have they have Syncopates. Oh, but they're blue, and they, they have to make the decision. We're going to have to wait every time for them to decide what to do. They probably have the counterspell. Oh, this is going to be a long match. Moo moo. More like snore snore. We're going to have to wait every single time. Well, we should lose because they're just going to get the land and they're going to get the farewell at some point. And that's assuming they don't counterspell the heck out of us. That's a long time to spend doing nothing. Let's go after a mind splice. They should counterspell this. This is their win con, basically. This is what enables all of their X cost spells. But if they already have Farewell, then they'll feel confident they can get everything back. So what does it matter? They got another one already. They got three of their apparatuses up front. And it's got flash, so they're they're waiting to keep their mana dry for counter spells each time, and then they spend their mana to put it down. So they know how to play their deck. There's the farewell already. There's one farewell. Alright, let's try it. it. Should run right into the syncopate. They let that go. Huh. Didn't expect that. And here's where they start just drawing their entire deck. Uh, my two draw per turn won't really matter too much. These need creatures to benefit them now. I don't know how many farewells they have. They could have as many as four. There's a white sense twilight already. They still kept some mana open. My lands are just tap lands. All right, there isn't much of a choice. If 
to counterspell me, that's pretty much the game. Do you not have a counterspell rate? What in the world? What are you holding up priority for then? Why are you bothering? Of course, they could also have three more of those, which I only have two of these, so... Maybe they're saving up with, like, some splashy... Maybe they have a splash of red in here somewhere and they're just gonna hit my face for 30 points of damage. Alright, they're digging for an answer. They've completely outmatched me in health points and in mana capability. And my I'm drawing more lands than I'm drawing anything else. Oh no, they went back and got back their spells. The specific spells that I'm going to have trouble with. <laughs> is that the one they just put back? Or is that a second one? Okay, so I need my uh, by invitation only. Because there's 12 of them now instead of 7. And it's not a permanent, so I can't get it back with Spirit Sister's Call. Oh, what did you dis... You discarded... You discarded a White Sun's Twilight? Um, yeah. We're dead. Here's a dog. Give me a card draw. Um... Okay. I don't have enough to bring out Cigar to Splendor. Get rid of one of you. Get rid of another one of you. Play my tap land. If they don't have removal, I'll get nine poison tokens this turn. Well, this is what happens when I go against Phyrexian decks usually. That, so that they're punishing me for daring to win against that last Phyrexian deck. That last one wasn't a pure Phyrexian deck, though. Alright, so I need, by invitation only, I need my second copy now. All of that land drop, and I still didn't have enough to put down the second Splendor before casting these spells. And they had a way to kill me. Alright, well that's Phyrexia for you. Alright, I think we're going to leave it there. Let's go in and look at the deck one more time. I suppose I could have more removal. But the thing is, I've already got four there and three there. That's seven and two board wipes. That makes for nine removals. I've got potential for more removal there with the long reach of night. And uh, we do have early removal with the gift of fangs, incapacitation with clawing torment. And a way to get rid of more 1-1s one -ones with two of those. So I kind of thought, in Sanctify for Artifacts and Enchantments, I kind of thought I had enough removal. But uh, it seems like my deck is moving kind of slowly. Even with the card draw from the Companions, even if I get a Splendor down and get um, extra card draw, it still seems like overall this arrangement can be too slow. And maybe it's because I don't have enough creatures to put some pressure on them, is what I'm thinking. Um, let me know in the comments, what would you do to, to spice this up and make it a little more effective? Um, I, don't, I don't hate it right now, but it does seem a trifle slow. I've got ways, like if you took down Meticulous Excavation and I'm getting lots of land, I can just bring the, the dog back up and get a second card draw every turn, even without either one of the Splendors. But... As we saw, you know, I'm winning and losing about 50% of these matches, but it just feels like it's a little slow. Uh, now, granted, I'm also facing some opponents that take a long time to make their decisions, and that could be part of it. But uh, 
yeah, let me know what you would do with this. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Have a good one.